When it comes to mechanical keyboards, there are so many different options out there from different layout sizes, colors and prices. If you want to get a really nice mechanical keyboard, it can cost you hundreds of dollars. But when you're looking for some budget options, there are quite a few options under or around 100 bucks, but not that many of them are actually worth buying. One of the companies I've personally enjoyed using the products, by the way, this is not a sponsored video. I have personally paid for every single one of these keyboards myself, and that company is Keychron. I just want to walk you guys through some of the different options that are available and why these two, Keychron K8 and Keychron K3, are two of my favorite mechanical keyboards under $100. Coming right up. What's up everybody, my name is Sean, welcome to my tech channel. If this is the first time you're stopping by and you enjoy tech content like this, you might wanna hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification, and don't forget to turn the bell notification to all so you won't miss my future videos. Like I said, this is not a sponsored video, so if you do want to support me, please remember to give this video a like, so that way the YouTube algorithm will hopefully push this video to more people to watch. In general, there are six different sizes of mechanical keyboards you can uh, get. I will put a link down in the description below. It's a really beautiful blog that walk you through different options, but here is an overview of all six options. One, you have your 100% uh, full-size keyboard, and that is the standard keyboard you will see with the function keys, arrow keys, and numpads. The next size down will be a 96% keyboard layout, and it's called a compact full-size. Basically, you have most of the same keys instead of 104, I think you have 100 uh, key option, but it's a little bit more compact and the numbers are pushed together a little bit to give you a smaller footprint. Then you come down to the next two sides down, which are these two keyboards down here. Uh, that is known as a 10 keyless keyboard. Basically, it's a full size keyboard minus the numpad, and that is an 80% keyboard, which is the Keychron K8 I have here. And then the next one is the Keychron K3, which is a compact uh, 10 keyless uh, layout, and that is a 75% layout. Then, smaller than that, you get to a 65% keyboard layout, or known as a compact keyboard, and then smaller than that, you get to a mini keyboard, which is a 60% keyboard layout. Personally, I'm not a big fan of uh, the large sizes and the small sizes. The large sizes because of the footprint it will take, how it looks on your table, and it just doesn't look very minimalist. So if you're looking for a clean layout, um, that may not be the way you wanna go. And then when it comes to the really small size, the mini and compact, the 60% and 65% layout, because you are missing the dedicated arrow keys and missing uh, the function keys on one of them, then uh, the, the, the usage for me is a little bit more difficult. Yes, you have different layers you can program, but for me personally, I think the 80% and 75% uh, 10 keyless layouts are uh, very comfortable and you're not really compromising, compromising much to be able to get this uh, footprint. So both of these keyboards you can use wired or wireless. It uses Bluetooth 5.1, which helps with uh, latency and connectivity. You can connect up to three uh, devices at once uh, using uh, the Bluetooth function. So if you want to switch back and forth, you don't have to constantly pair and repair uh, and unpair these devices, it's very easy. And if you want to use a wired connection, it comes with a USB type C that makes it very easy for you to connect to the device. So you can connect to Mac and Windows and by default, they come with the Mac buttons, your command and option buttons instead of alt button, for example. Uh, but you do get the extra set of keys inside if you want to switch the keycaps to the Windows, but not only the keycaps will change, both devices, they have a button on the side, you just switch and the device will understand and register and, are, uh, and map those keys to the appropriate buttons for Windows versus Mac. With both of them, you have the option to get the Gateron mechanical uh, switches or optical uh, Keychron switches. And um, the optical Keychron uh, switches, they're hot swappable, which I have in both of these units and it just makes it a breeze if later on you want to switch out the type of key you have. Let's say you have linear keys and you wanna get clicker keys or tactile, you can simply just go ahead, buy a set of extra keys 
like this and simply swap them out. It's just that simple. I think you can get an entire set from them for like 19 bucks. Both of them, you have the option to get them white backlit or full RGB per key color, uh, which you will have over uh, or around 18 different uh, colors that you can, um, uh, you can choose from. When it comes to build quality, these things, in my opinion, they're built like tank. I really, really like them. They feel very solid. Um, you can get the K3 only with aluminum frame and the K8, you can get it with aluminum or plastic frame. And I have the aluminum frame option here. Uh, the key caps are a uh, double shot ABS keys. And uh, that is pretty much uh, what they both have in common. Oh, I do want to show you what the, you will get inside the box. And again, that is the same for both of these units. So inside the box, obviously you get the keyboard itself, which also has this very, very handy uh, dust cover. And you don't appreciate having a dust cover on your keyboard until you have one. So trust me, uh, this is a huge plus that you get this dust cover. Inside, you get this very, very handy owner's manual that you definitely want to uh, keep nearby. You have this uh, key puller, you have this switch puller, and this nice uh, USB type C cable and owner's manual. So besides the actual footprint of these two, uh, that is the first thing you will notice. The next thing you would notice is the thickness and the weight. The K8, it has a massive 4000 milliamp battery inside and it weighs 700 40 grams and compared to this very thin uh, design in the K3 and this thing weighs only 396 grams but it does have a tiny battery it's a 1550 milliamp battery when it comes to typing experience um, the K3 because of its low profile design it does not really have any adjustable legs the four rubber legs you have at the bottom, the two in the back are raised a little bit, so that way it will give you a little bit of an angle, but to be honest with you, it is fine just like this. You do not need a wrist rest. But when it comes to typing experience on the K8, because of how thick and chunky this thing is, um, you definitely would need a wrist rest for long typing experiences. You can get this in three different um, angles, uh, the default, you have this very, very subtle angle. And at the bottom, the leg will flip up in two different sizes, like this and like that. And then you can have it at two different angles based on your typing needs. Uh, but like I said, for long gaming or typing uh, sessions, you probably will need a wrist rest. The actual thickness dimension of the K3 is uh, 17 millimeter. Uh, in the front at its thinnest position and in the back is 22 millimeters. The K8 on the other hand is 35 millimeters in the front and 42 millimeters in the back. So as you can see, big difference when it comes to the thickness of these two devices. And by the way, this uh, K8, it has a lot of hollow space in its frame. And what we're gonna do is in a future video, I'm gonna go ahead, open this up and uh, we'll walk you guys through how you can install uh, sound absorbing foam inside the frame of this keyboard. So to try to give it a little bit uh, better quality sound and get rid of that sharp note. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe so you won't miss that video. The Keychron K3 starts at $74 and that is for white backlight, and the price is gonna be the same whether you get the mechanical Gateron uh, switches or Keychron optical hot swappable switches. You have the option to get them with red, blue, brown, white, black, or orange keys, and obviously each of them is gonna give you a different feeling. You have linear, um, clicky, and tactile. Linear basically are the most quiet ones that you can get, and then clicky are the ones that actually make clicky sounds and tactile are somewhere in between both for how they feel and how they sound. And if you're looking at the RGB option, that is $84. So 74 versus $84. So that is the price range available for the K3. The K8, this big boy right here, it starts at $69 and that is for the white backlight with Gateron mechanical switches with plastic frame. 
I haven't experienced those, but I've looked at some of the other YouTubers that they did get the plastic frame. They still said it does not feel flimsy. It still feels very high quality. Uh, you can get them with red, blue, or brown switches. Now, when you look at the RGB backlight option from the price goes from $69 to $79. And if you want to get uh, with hot swappable optical switches, it will go to $89. And if you want to get RGB backlight with aluminum uh, frame with hot swappable, it goes to $99. So lots of different options, anywhere from $69 to $99 for the Keychron K8. But honestly, either way, whichever you get, these keyboards, they simply just look good. They look good, they feel good, they feel very classy. I love the fact that um, they have this two-tone gray that they have chosen. So you have this darker gray for some of your main keys and uh, your shift controls options and command keys and things like that. You have this lighter gray. They come with this iconic orange escape key. They do include um, a gray escape key if you want to uh, be a little bit more subtle, but also if you do want to embrace the orange, um, the light function button, the button that you actually choose or press to change the lighting effect, they also include, uh, it comes originally in gray, but if you want to be symmetrical, they do include an orange key cap so you can be symmetrical. That is the look I personally have gone in both of my keyboards and I love it. Honestly, they look good. They feel good. I cannot stress that enough. Uh, the connection is really easy. You hold on the function button and number one, two, and three are the connection for three devices. You push and hold either one of those three numbers for I think three or four seconds, and then it gets into the pairing mode. You go to your device, select it, and it pairs, and it's just that easy. And if you want to switch between devices, you hold down function and you press two or three if you have already paired them with other devices. Um, when it comes to the lighting effect, like I said, you can just go ahead and press this uh, orange key right here. And then it cycles through uh, different lighting effects. Let me queue up some of the lighting options for you guys so you can take a look at it. So the K8 that I have here are with brown optical hot swappable uh, Keychron switches and they are tactile. So they're between linear and clicky. Let's take a listen at the Keychron K3. Now, I have two Keychron K3s. Um, so the first order I had, by the way, I ordered these on Kickstarter. So the first one I ordered, my order unfortunately came wrong. I'd ordered them with, um, with red switches, but they came with blue switches. And uh, also there was a slight damage in the shipping. Shout out to Keychron, fantastic customer service. I just took, them a, took a couple pictures of my damaged product and wrong order, send it in to send me a brand new unit. Um, so I do have uh, the blue one, which are the clicky ones, and I have red that are linear, and I want you to listen to both of them. So let's start with the red switches that are linear. So 
So very, very subtle, not a whole lot of sound or noises that this thing's making. So if you're looking for a quiet keyboard, this is quiet while it's mechanical and you can't go wrong with this. So if you're in an office environment, that's fine. But if you want to feel uh, the key presses a little bit more, I would say stay away from linear and trying to get tactile or clicky. So here are the clicky uh, blue switches. Let's take a listen. What do you think? Comment down below. Let me know uh, which one is your favorite sound between brown, um, red, and blue switches. I'm just gonna press uh, singular keys on all three of them so you can listen to them back to back. Brown switches, K8. Blue switches, K3. And red switches, K3. So that concludes the sound test. I just want to show you guys how easy it is to take out the keys. So this is a key puller. You just slide it right in around one of the keys and it comes off just like that. Very, very easy. And if you want to take out the switches, just like that. It literally takes seconds to try to take out these switches and change them with a different feel, pressure, and style. Like I said, literally takes seconds. So um, this concludes all the information I want to share with you guys. At the end of the day, I can't really tell you which keyboard is right for you. These are 100% subjective. For me personally, like I said, I, um, I have smaller keyboards, like this is for example, 60% uh, layout keyboard. Uh, it does not have the function keys. I don't have dedicated arrow keys. Yes, it looks cool. It's very compact, but for everyday use, I don't think I can put up with this. So I'm not a big fan of 60% keyboards. This is not from Keychron, by the way. Um, but like I said, 80% layout, 75% layout. I think it's a really nice average size and you get to choose which one may really fit your lifestyle and budget. Um, so if you got any questions for me, drop a comment down below. Let me know um, what do you guys think? What are your experiences with mechanical keyboards? And if you're gonna get one of these, which one do you think you're gonna get? And again, one last uh, ask I have, if you have not liked this video, please do so. That is the biggest help you can give to me on my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.